Beyonce just released a new album called Renaissance. Now, let me be honest and tell you guys this. I don't care about Beyonce. I never liked Beyonce. Never really listened to Beyonce. You know, even though in the past, you know, I've listened to, I've only take a glimpse at it, but I just don't particularly listen to it for enjoyment because I am not a fan of Beyonce whatsoever. But her new album, Renaissance, contained this song, Church Girl, on there. And to be honest, it's all about, you know, it's nothing but sacrilege. I mean, all it, and it's real, it's really a bunch of. A bunch of complete buffoonery and nonsense. And in my humble opinion, <clears throat> in my humble opinion, you know, like Pastor Wooden once said, and I think I'm going to have to follow his footsteps and say that Beyonce along with her husband, Jay-Z, have sold their souls to the devil. <clears throat> but, I, find, I also find it interesting that a lot of churches would allow something like this to take place. And it makes you want to think And you know you got you got gospel artists like the Clark Sisters, which I gotta be honest, I used to listen to the Clark Sisters group when I was growing up as a kid, uh, and even especially you got Dorinda Clark Cole, and I think Karen Clark Sheard, they're coming. They're coming at Beyonce. They're literally being in defense of Beyonce. Like, literally being in defense of her. And it makes you want to think, you know, in the Christian church, why are pastors not calling this out? You know, there, I mean, there are some pastors like uh, Bishop, Bishop Wooden, who literally has called it up, called it out saying that it is nothing but sacrilege, which he ain't lying on that one. Because you got you got Beyonce making music about using pages from the Bible and wipe it on her vajay va Um if, if her, the, you know, for JJ have period blood and all that kind of stuff on there. And, you know, even Pe even G. Craig Lewis of EX Ministries, you know, called this out. I mean, it's talked about it and talked about this and seen the lyrics of it because because it is it is what it is. Nothing more than just pure sacrilege. Now, it is literally, it is literally offensive to Christians. Now, if you're a Christian, you should be calling this mess out. But then again, you got a lot of Christian music out there that has been secularized for world appeal you know to please the world the bible says do not love the world nor the things it offers you first john chapter 2 15 
It also says, do not be, do not copy the behaviors of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of the mind. But if you look at the, if you look at the music video, Church Girl, and, you know, there's like talks about that she's shaking her, got girls shaking her butt, shaking their butts and whatnot in the video. And, you know, it rubs, it should, it literally, this should rub Beyonce, I mean, this should rub a lot of Christians' heads, the a lot of Christians the wrong way. You know, and I will tell you, church church girls would not be out there shaking their butts in the streets or doing all that foolishness. It is sick and is, the, and is disgusting. I'm Chuck Johnson, a.k.a. Kid Thunder. I'm signing off.